went today? Uh, I went great. Um, I feel like I ran what I needed to run uh, for one, for two. Um, I feel like I threw the ball really well. Um, shout out to the guys that caught the ball for me today. Joe, that was a really long throwing session. Was it important to show that you could you could make all the throws in that um, way? Absolutely, but um, I feel like my main goal is you know just be on the center more. Um, also, just touch balls um, from different platforms and from regular drops as well from the center. How comfortable are you under center like that? Oh, fine. I actually like playing slow, to be honest. Uh, I know we play a fast pace here, but uh, Coach Hyper going to be mad at me. So. <laughs> I like playing slow. Uh, I just feel like we get to see everything. Um, and the person, the quarterback I am, I'm big on details. So uh, you get to see everything that you want to see and make it happen. Hendon was here. Kind of what have your conversations with him been like this week? Um, just be me. Uh, that's pretty much all our goals. Um, you know, every day we see each other. Um, we make sure that each other uh, is up, smiling. Um, but also, just in any hard times we're going through in our life, we pretty much just talk it out. Um, so, luckily, we don't have those right now. Um, just pretty much enjoying the process. Um, and he just helped me every step of the way. Joe, yeah. I know you've been throwing some of Zach Dobson. Mm -hmm. You asked him to come kind of catch balls from you today. Um, what, what has impressed you about him, and how, how familiar are you with his story? Man, he should have came to Tennessee. I don't know about his story. Uh, now, I don't know about his story, but he should have came to Tennessee, to be honest. After I seen him the first day I threw to him, I was like, dang, where were you? Uh, but, you know, just an opportunity to throw to him was great. Uh, I didn't hear too much about his story. I don't really know too much about it. Uh, I think he's actually coming to hang out with me later. So maybe I'll ask him for sure. What was the biggest thing you were preparing for uh, after the combine uh, for Friday today? Uh, the biggest thing, uh, to be honest, I've been doing the same thing since the combine. Uh, Nothing's changed. Um, a lot of people say my drops were slow at the combine, but I was under control. Um, and there was a lot of guys there that I didn't know. So being here with my guys, you know, I speed up my drop, and um, show how action I am in tempo. So it's pretty good. Are there any big improvements you feel like you've made from the time of combine to today? Um, I mean, I completed my out route to the left. Uh, I feel like those are the only ones I missed at the combine that was like uh, that I wish I could take back. But other than that, I feel like I did great. Coming here to Pro Day today, is there a point you were trying to make or to confirm in your throws and agility today? I don't know. Just be who I am or who I'm all, always be. Um, just doing what God brought me here for. So what, are, what are some of the things the pro teams have been telling you through this process? Um, they like, they like, they love my personality, um, but also the long shots. I feel like every team wants to take shots. You know? Not every quarterback can actually do it, but um, every team wants to take shots. They love that about my game. Then they love my leadership role. Um, they feel like I carry myself well. Um, they feel like uh, a couple teams say every step I take, you can tell how confident I am and how I walk. So. Do you know which team specifically came to watch you today? Uh, I feel like it was all every team here. You know, I feel like they came to watch everybody. To be honest. Joe, Joe you're, you asked you about the long throwing sessions. Seems like it was pretty scripted, detailed calls, things like that. How much input did you have on that? Or how much did you lean on on the guys that kind of do this regularly to uh, get you? On the drop aspect of it, uh, I just said that I wanted to be away from it so I can throw it back across the field because I know out here the field is on the 80 yards. Um, so I know if I go a little bit right while he running left, that it's going to be a further throw. When you guys were warming up for the 40, I saw Nico talking to you and the rest of the guys. Just any words of encouragement that he had for you today? Uh, just go be me, do what I normally do. Um, he actually came to my house two days ago, and he told me about myself and what he's seen since he's been here. Uh, he said, I play my best when I'm having fun. So I feel like that's very true, and I'm looking forward to keep doing it. Have fun today? Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. You mentioned being under center more. Was that something that came from NFL teams and talking to them to this I process? I mean, we don't go into center here. <laughs> uh, I mean, we probably do like fourth down or third down, but other than that, we in shotgun 24-7. So they just want to make sure that. Um, but to be honest, the uh, NFL is changing. Not everybody goes in the center all the time. So just be able to be versatile and uh, whatever you do. Joe, you played with McCown for just a year here. What, I, how do you think he showed out today, and what do you think he showed last season? Oh, man. Cali, uh, man, great player, uh, smart dude, but most of all, it's just how athletic he is. Like my first day seeing him work out, like when he first got here, like I was impressed. Um, just the way that he moves, the way that he come out his breaks. I feel like he showed everything he needed to show today. I don't know what his forty was, but it probably was faster than mine. He looked like he was moving, man. So, you know, uh, you know, shout out to Cali, but him and his family, man. Uh, I wish him the best for sure. You know what you ran? Uh, four, five, six. Yeah. Was there a goal of what you wanted to run? Uh, nah. 
Uh, no goals, just go out there, execute. Uh, actually, I did have a goal. I just wanted to beat the last lane I ran. The last time I ran a 40 at Michigan, I ran a 4-6. So I just wanted to beat that for sure. Good. Good.